Hey everyone, Phoenix Spring Tower here. This is a reading for Aries. Aries is sun sign, moon sign, rising sign. This is your August 2021 general reading. So note this will be based on the current energies of the Aries Collective. So it's a general reading. Only take what resonates, leave the rest behind. It's also based on current energy projection. So if it, no, it's not set in stone. So if you see something that you don't like or something you want more of, know that you have the power to change your situation. As I said, change your situation. There we have it. The Ace of Swords has come through as a jumper for you. The Ace of Swords and the Hermit. So let's just start getting right into this. So what this is telling me with the Ace of Swords and the Hermit card is that you guys have been in a state of, I'm being told the phrase is self-discovery, of understanding yourself, of really going deep in, on going to the far nether regions of your subconscious, if you like, and reflecting on how you compare with society in general, but not being swayed by what society says that you ought to do, but tuning in on exactly what is right for you, your authenticity, what your inner truth, what suits and works for you. So you guys may have felt that this journey of doing this, of this self-realization may have been a lonely one. But what is coming out of that journey is the Ace of Swords, where you guys in this month are going to feel confident, or not com well, confident, yes, but ready as well to go ahead and make the changes that you guys want to make in your life, to live the type of reality you want, to live in your truth and your authenticity, to do what you feel is right for you for you right we have the ace of swords here so this ace i always say double-edged sword so this ace is talking about leaving some elements of the past that don't work for you and bringing in new things so with this a hermit card you guys have been contemplating new things or you've been searching for answers for it you've been mulling over it and this month you guys are going to have the confidence to bring in those new changes that you want to see in your life they're going to be moving from plans moving into action you guys are going to be taking action and the new moon on the 8th of this month that's happening in leo is going to be particularly a good time with that ace of swords to take that new action um new action particularly in terms of if you guys are doing a passion project it's having that confidence to really drive it forward if you guys have taken that opportunity with saturn retrograde energy to just reevaluate it you're going to push forward with it and with this Ace of Swords as well, it could be that some of you with this Two of Cups could be ready to, you guys may be, I'm being told a work situation, that some of you may be reaching out or engaging in a work situation with someone that you would potentially like to work with, a company that you would like to work with, or someone in another team or someone in your current team that you would like to work with, either to work on a project at work or a passion project. For some of you, that could also be a relationship with the Ace of Swords, Two of Cups. It could be a new engage, a new, I didn't want to say engagement, but you know what? Let me just say engagement as it wanted to come through. But do you see what I mean? It could be that one-on-one -on -one situation. You're finding that other person with the Ace of Swords. It's something new. So it could be a new partnership, platonic partnership, relationship, someone at work. Take it how it resonates with you. But this person is going to be someone that you really get on with, you really resonate with, and someone who could really take you guys forward. Someone who sees you for who you are and sees you for you with this hermit energy that is what was coming through as being quite important because you guys have a really good understanding of yourself now and understanding of who you are so with that understanding you guys are able to attract and bring into yourselves the situation that you're after so we have the king of cups there cancer scorpio pisces energy it could be that you guys are approaching this month with a very balanced outlook as well you know you this is almost like a temperance card energy you're going to take it day by day and you're going to have that balance between your creativity and your emotional state and with how you apply your intellect to a situation to make it happen and that level of maturity you're going to actually get from the time you've spent in this hermit energy really getting an understanding of who you are and what it is that you want 
now with PD clarify this oops 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 okay I'm gonna take that could we clarify this two of swords energy here could we clarify the two of swords energy hang on guys just give me a moment Great, thank you. So what this Two of Swords is saying to me, you know when I was talking about the Hermit card and the self-discovery, this Two of Swords as well is, okay, this is saying to me that there is an opportunity that you're just not seeing or you haven't been seeing at the moment, right? There's an opportunity that you haven't been seeing, but this Two of Swords is being clarified by the Page of Wands. So it could be that there's a decision that you guys have been waiting on or... You guys have been wondering, do I go this way? Do I go that way? It's not quite clear, but there is going to be some message or there's going to be some inspiration that you guys get that's going to help you navigate in the right direction. And what I'm being told here finally with the four of wands is that this is going to be quite successful also. Now note this four of wands as well, that 1111, and we have Lionsgate energy coming in this month. So there is quite a powerful, potent energy. There's a quite a powerful, potent time. I'm being told 88, that Lionsgate portal, to put in what it is you guys actually want put it out there into the universe to manifest and bring it in but most of all what i'm saying is that what i'm picking up is that this path that you guys are going on either that message that you're going to get or that change that you want coming into your life is going to be hugely successful for you guys and this is what i picked up on the very beginning with the two of cups with so that person coming into your life or you reaching out to someone else with this four of wands here it is going to really elevate and take you guys up to another plateau all right now what i'm being told at this point is that you have mars and venus mars is your ruler Mars is your ruling planet going into your sixth house. So your sixth house is a, the house of your day-to-day -day work. Sixth house is also the house of your physical health, your diet, your exercise. Mercury is also coming into the sixth house. I think it's about the 12th. So this is really a potent time again. When it talks about positioning yourself in a way where you could um, position yourself in the sweet finding a niche for yourself yeah that's a word so if it's a work situation like day-to-day -day work it's finding a niche for yourself so this could be may not be clear at the moment what that niche is for you but it's finding that sweet spot and really sticking in it and potentially reaching out to people who would be able to help you establish yourself in that um in your niche so it's about that as well to make your turn your dreams into reality it's also about in this month as particularly with the ace of swords you guys could be embarking on learning something new so it could be a short-term course or long-term course you may be thinking of going back to university with that mercury energy in your sixth house is all about improving your skills and knowledge when it comes to a particular area so it could be that you have with the hermit mercury energy because mercury is the ruling planet for the hermit as well you guys may have decided okay i want to go back to university i want to do a short-term course i want to improve and develop myself in a particular area okay anything else that's coming through for aries sun moon and rising sign this month this is really really good Let's see what other messages we have for Aries, Sun, Moon and Rising Sign coming up for this month. This month is all about understanding who you are, understanding what you want, having the confidence to find your niche within a situation and establish your presence, giving yourself a seat at the table. That is what it's all about yeah we have two pages here and we have a page of cups so with this it's interesting we have the page of cups and we have the two of cups and we have the ace of swords so for you guys this is someone a new mess okay so page of cups could talk about for some of you guys this may not resonate for all but it could be a new relationship or a new love interest 
that's coming in. Mind you, for this King of Cups, I'm getting a very boss energy here. So it could be for some of you guys, you guys may be reaching out to a boss or a head of department and so on, who could also be um, letting you guys know of an opportunity somewhere, an opportunity that would be right up your street or creating a role, creating a position, giving new opportunities. That's also coming through as well. But with the Page of Cups, the Two of Cups and the Ace of Swords, I'm particularly picking up a new relationship prospect. For some reason, I'm also being told someone may be coming in as well, but that is very specific for one or two of you. I'm just picking up new relationship, new romantic relationship coming through, something that you didn't expect. But I'm not surprised of the new relationship because you guys have in your fifth house. Do you, what do you guys have in your fifth house? Yeah, you guys have a new moon happening in Leo. And this new moon happening in Leo is happening in your fifth house, is happening on the 8th, 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 so it's Lion's Gate as well. So that could be this one. Say, oh my goodness, what guys, 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 I cannot make this up. We have wedding. This situation involves a marriage. So it could be in August, you may either be attending a wedding or this situation with this two of cups, this situation that this person that you're finding is going to be quite a good solid relationship match for you so it could be that this is your best friend for the next few years it could be that this person you're working with could be a manager who for the next for the tenure of your time and your company is really going to be there and is really going to help you and be your supporter or this could be a long-term partnership like a life partner probably soulmate you know with this marriage card coming through so definitely with the new moon happening in the fifth house of relationships this seems to me to be a new person that is coming in for you guys let's see what other messages that we are getting aries other messages for aries sun sign moon rising what other messages do we have for them Yeah, and you deserve it as well. You deserve it. And that's the thing you guys deserve. You guys have with this um, hermit energy. This is a time, I'm being told that this is quite a, a time of isolation, a time of self-reflection, a time of really looking into yourselves to really understand what it is that you guys want. And you guys are now with that Venus energy and that Mars energy in your sixth house. You guys are converting plans into action because Mars is your ruling planet. In the sixth, you guys are really taking action. So when you take that action and when everything is aligned for you, then great things can happen happen this is the four of wands energy i was talking about remember i said earlier about going up a level going up to another plateau this is that transformation this is a fresh new way of living energies you guys are definitely going through a, f a fresh new way of living emerges i beg your pardon that's the phoenix energy like phoenix spring phoenix rising you guys you've you guys have done your time with this hermit you've done your time you've learned your life lessons from really tough situations that you've been in you're going to be parting with old ways that haven't worked with you with the ace of swords bringing in new ways and what the universe is saying to you guys is that you guys are going to be supported in doing this universe is going to have your back you are definitely deserve it and a lot of things that um you guys have wanted or that's going to be in alignment for you you guys are going to be getting messages this month with the page of wands with the page of cups you guys are going to be getting a lot of messages this month of things that you guys have been planning things that you guys have been manifesting prayers that you've been putting out there a lot of those things are going to be coming in fruition for you this is a transformation this is a new plateau you guys are leveling up in your life and it is going to be successful you guys are coming out of this two of swords energy where you've been indecisive and not knowing what to do you guys are coming out of that indecisive energy in order to have the confidence to really delve into what it is you guys personally want to create that reality for you 
All right. Oh, Aries, this, I felt as if I've been touching on a number of different things, but I really, really hope it makes sense. Let me know in the comments down below. It was an honor to do this for you. This looks really, really good. Remember the Lion's Gate 8-8 energy that's coming up. Really take that time with that 8-8 energy to really ground yourself to take stock of what's happening around you because there's going to be a lot of activity around you guys this month. Use that 8-8 eight, eight energy to really take stock, to ground yourself and to really ensure that you're going to be aligned with what it is that you want because I have the Ace of Swords. I'm being told double-edged sword. Really ensure that you stay the path of what it is you want and don't compromise. Final message because this is great. Okay, don't compromise on this. Don't compromise on your vision. Aries, Thank you so much. I look forward to seeing you guys in future readings. Bye for now.